Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my music tier list video, and today we're gonna to be looking at Halloween, another one of my favorite bands of all time. So, they've got all their albums here. Some of them, I think we're just gonna get right out of the way, and anything in the D tier is not worth listening to whatsoever. Anything in the C tier, there's at least one song worth listening to. In the B tier, there's at least two to three songs worth listening to. The, the A tier is worth maybe listening to several of the songs, almost the whole thing. S tier, probably the whole thing. And then got like definitely the whole thing. So with that being out of the way, let's get into it guys. And now we've got first, Charmeleon, Charmeleon, D tier easily. Probably one of the worst albums that they've ever made. Just not very valuable and I just wouldn't bother listening to it. Next, I don't know why this is even in here. This is just a just a cover album, like uh, bleh, not worth listening to. And then finally the other one's gonna be in the D tier. Is just this acoustic album that I don't really look forward to uh, listening to when I want to listen to power metal and metal in general. I don't really come to this album at all. Anyways, let us move in to their newest album, Halloween, self-titled. It is definitely going in the godlike tier. That is, it, you just look at the look at the artwork on the cover. Go type in Halloween, self-titled album, and the, the the artwork speaks for itself of how good this album is. It is smash in your mouth. It's going to punch you in the face over and over again, and you're going to beg for more. So, yeah, I'll listen to the whole album on that one, guys. Next, I'm going to be putting uh, The Dark Ride in the Godlike tier. Definitely one of their best albums of all time. Go listen to it, the whole thing, 100%. Go listen to every single thing that they have in that album, The Dark Ride. Easily a uh, Godlike tier. Next, I'm going to put Keeper of the... Keeper of the Seven uh, Keys in the S tier. Go listen to the whole thing for sure, 100%. If you do not know this album, I don't know where you've been in where you've been in your whole life. Um, and the reason why there's Godlike tier and S tier because there will be some albums that I want to kind of be in between S and A, but it won't be. You know, there's like something that's holding them back from being in the S tier. So Godlike tier is basically the same as S tier, but it's like a slightly higher. I don't know how to solidly explain it, but. I'm pretty sure if you've been on metal forms in the in the early 2000s, or you're just a metal, ca even a casual metal fan, should know of this album or the album's artwork. Keeper of the Seven Keys, easily one of the most recognizable and best albums of all time. And Keeper of the Seven Keys Part Two, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the S tier as well. A very good album, go listen to the whole thing. <laughs> so there's that, and then next we're gonna go into. Um, Let's see what let's see what else we should do here. Time of the Oath. I'm gonna put that in the B tier. Um, pretty valuable album. There are some songs in there, like I said, there's at least two or three songs in there that are valuable to listen to, but not really something I go back to listen to every now and then. Just kind of not something I joke to go. All right, and let's move on onwards. Let's move onwards to Seven Sinners. I would put that in the A tier easily. Definitely, there's several songs in there worth listening to, guys. So, if you wanted to listen to a pretty heavy album, one of their more heavier albums, definitely go ahead and listen to Seven Sinners, guys. Definitely 100% listen to that. All right, and then we have Gambling with the Devil. I put that in the B tier. It's okay. There are some pretty good songs in there. Like I said, two to three, probably maybe four, listening to some pretty pretty heavy albums in there. Um, pretty pretty decent song, pretty decent album, but it's a, it's going in the B tier. And next, we're gonna do the rabbit rabbit don't come easy. It pains me to put this in the C tier because there are some songs in there that are pretty good, but some of them aren't really that great. Um, it kind of pains me to put that album in that because actually it's one of my favorite albums. But I gotta be fair. Um, not every, not all the songs in there are going to be worth listening to for you guys. Um, it's a it's an acquired taste kind of a deal here, guys. So if you if you like that album, then it would go a little higher. All right, straight out of uh, hell, and that's going to go in the A tier. There's quite a few songs in there that are quite good, but uh, I feel like their ego is a little bit big for this one because like I remember the people uh, the. The um, band members, they're like, oh, you guys are going to love this one. You guys are going to, no one's going to hate this. And, I mean, there, there are some pretty good songs in there, but not not every song is, you know, Smash Mouth uh, super amazing. 
So I'll go in the A tier. And then we're going to go with My God Given Right. And I'm going to put that in the B tier. I go back to this album every now and then. There are some pretty good songs in there, but not really, you know, again, some of them are kind of hit and miss. Um, with that being said, let us move on to Seven Ke Keeper of Seven Keys Legacy. I'm going to put this also in the B tier. There are some songs in there actually worth valuable to you guys, to your guys' ears. Um, some people don't really like this album that much because it feels like they're just milking the name. But there are some credible and valuable songs in this album. And I do go back to listening to some of them every now and then. So we're going to keep that in there. And now we're going to move on to Better Than Raw. I'm going to put this in the A tier. There are some songs in there really good. Like really, really good. Um, I go back to this album every now and then. Push. There's Push in there, I Can. You got that as well. Hey Lord. Yeah, there's a lot of good songs in there. Midnight Sun. Yeah, there's a lot of good songs in here, guys. So there's a lot of those songs that I just listed. You guys should go listen to those. Anyways, let's move on to... Team Kabob, let's go Ape on and put this in the C tier. It's like a 80s, 90s cash grab types album. I wouldn't really recommend going to that one. I mean, it's not the worst thing of all time. It's not in the D tier, at least. But I would, I would recommend listening to those albums that are above it way more than this one, for sure. Um, Hundred percent. Master of the Rings. I'm gonna put that in the B tier. Pretty, pretty valuable. There's Alibi. I would, I would, I would definitely recommend listening to Alibi for sure. And there's Mr. Ego, and there's Perfect Gentleman, of course. Um. Where the Rain Goes is okay too. Why is okay. Um, but go listen to Perfect Gentleman if you want to listen to one of their best single uh, singles of all time. That's where that al that's where that song comes from. Alright, and now we finally have The Walls of Jericho. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the C tier because it's okay for what it is. But it's the sound quality is not as good, of course, because it's you know, 20 plus years old. It came out in 1985, or that we're in the year 2022. So I, <laughs> Ride the Sky, go ahead and listen to that for sure. Go ahead and listen to Ride the Sky. That was one of their best dub songs of the era for sure. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. If you agree with this list, let me know in the comment section down below. I know that some of you may say that some of those songs, some of those albums in the beats here should be a little higher, maybe. But this is my tier list, not yours, so if you want to go make one, go make one yourself. <laughs> in my comment section if you'd like. Go ahead and put go ahead and make your own tier list in my comment section. I don't care. Uh, this is this is an open debate uh, tier list video, so if you'd like to go ahead and do that, you're welcome to. Um, but if you agree with the entire thing, which I if there is at least one person that agrees with this whole thing, I feel mission accomplished. But anyways guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.